Hey, how's it going? Back again with another Pokemon Go episode. This time again, we're going over the field research tasks for the past week. It's been a very interesting week, to say the least. And the reward again was the uh, Moltres. Uh, Nancy tweeted yesterday that uh, for the month of May, it will be a Zapdos. So that's pretty fantastic news. Although it'll be level 15, I don't think we have a great Zapdos so far. I think it's maybe 92, 93%. Uh, so we definitely welcome uh, four of those anyway. Um, so we're going to recap, we're going to start back Friday. So last Friday we still had Catch Tree Mudkip or Trico, Catch Tree Skitty or Meowt, and the other one was to hatch an egg, so all possible. Uh, the only thing was that we're going to be travelling Saturday night, and we knew we would uh, be in a little village with just one poke stop. so I didn't know how this week would go. So let's continue and uh, talk about what we did on Saturday. So, most of Saturday was spent on the bus firstly to Dublin and then on the plane to Krakow. Thankfully, the previous day we didn't manage to catch three Skitty or out, So we collected our stamp for Saturday and our very first uh, Pokestop we spun in Krakow. It was to catch three Pidgey or Murkrow. Off to a pretty good start. So, Saturday evening, while traveling to this little village, we did manage to catch three Pidgey and Murkrow. We spun a new Pokestop again, and the next field research task was to catch three flying type Pokemon. Pretty easy again, unfortunately. No spawns where we are currently, so it was quite hard, so we used a lot of incense to try and catch a Pidgey or other flying type Pokemon. But thankfully we did it, um, so that was an interesting Sunday. Very quiet Sunday, saved a lot of balls. And uh, still didn't actually spin the new puck stop nearby, which is the church. Um, so we look forward to doing that on Monday. So, thanks to the abundance of incense we had, we were able to catch three flying type Pokemon, and we did walk to the new puck stop nearby the church we spun it and the task was to make an excellent draw uh, which was a pretty good start for a place that doesn't have any spawns nearby I uh, just had to poke stop and I think there's some spawns further on so it would have been quite hard to catch three electric Pokemon which we still had uh, catch three Trico or Mudkip which we've been stuck on for quite some time uh, so thankfully later that day while walking we encountered a Hoot Hoot and we made the excellent draw So we did manage to make that excellent throw fairly quickly. I think it was our second Pokemon. We did spin the puck stop again. The task was to catch three bug type Pokemon. So we're back to using incense again. When I came here first, I think I had 42 incense collected. I think I'm currently on 12, so I'm struggling quite a bit. But we did manage to do that task anyway. So, Tuesday night we did manage to walk to the other poke stop about two kilometers away at spawn it. The task was to battle a gym, unfortunately. No gyms nearby. But we did travel to uh, Zatar, which had one gym, which was brilliant. It was a church. Unfortunately, it was Valor at the time. Pokemons were in there for about 12 hours. Um, so the town is active enough. Unfortunately, no Mystic or Instinct players around. So, I had to travel further afield to Vadovitsa, which had plenty of gyms, thankfully some of them Instinct and Mystic, so we did manage to battle the gym while we were in the bus. Uh, we got to jump in, battle it, and quickly jump out, and we were um, awarded uh, that task, so we did collect a stamp. Uh, further into Vadovitsa, we did spin a poke stop, and the field research task was to make three nice curveballs. Quite easy, thankfully. Uh, Instance would have helped us. Uh, back here again. So, got through the week and uh, Thursday we collected our stamp and uh, here we are catching Montrez once again, this time in Poland. So it's been a pretty interesting week here in this little village with just one poke stop. We did manage to collect all seven stamps without deleting a task. Uh, so that's fantastic news, although we did have to travel further afield uh, to Vodovitsa, which is about a 40 minute drive to uh, 
battle of gym and the next nearest village where the gym is Zatar. so if we want to do any raid boss battling we'd have to go there unfortunately with just one gym it's probably quite quiet maybe three or four raids a day maximum and unfortunately with gym hunter down it's impossible to time it um so if i was to travel there i'd probably be waiting uh, one or two hours at least for a, an egg to pop up and then waiting another 45 minutes uh, to see if anyone's around to be able to battle it uh, if it was a level 4 or level 5 uh, raid boss um, so very interesting week did go through an awful lot of incense to uh, be able to get some spawns um, yeah it, it's been tough especially when you're coming from a place that has maybe 50 or 60 poke stops and 16 gyms so you're really spoiled for choice um, here it's quite difficult. I know last Sunday when I was here for the very first day uh, of playing Pokemon Go here, the Pokestop was lured up at the church uh, because mass was on at the time. So it's um, interesting to see people take advantage of that. Um, there was another Pokestop nearby, but as I say, it's about two and a half kilometers away. Um, so it's not one you'd just nip out and, uh, and spin, unfortunately. So uh, heading back to Clamel on sunday night so we've got a couple more days here got to spin puck stop today to get our field research task for next week's journey so we're going to have to collect one for saturday and sunday although sunday we're going to crack off um city so this should be quite interesting plenty of gyms plenty of puck stops plenty of nests and hopefully more whalemer encounters and uh, possibly getting a shiny whalemer uh, which would be fantastic we've definitely been Getting a lot of whalemer we definitely probably each incense we use we do possibly get a, a whalemer um but unfortunately no shiny chance so next week zap those when we get our seven stamps so let's see how this week goes for us thanks for watching